So it's the morning of day one of my 2019 Lanzarote photography trip and this time I'm shooting the Mamiya RB67. Shooting Kodak Ektar 100, just taking a bunch of different readings as the sun came up and basically just uh, fired off about four shots. So we'll see if any of them turn out okay. But yeah, it's great to be out here in Lanzarote shooting uh, some medium format film on the Mamiya RB67. Right, so I'm back at the villa now. I've had something to eat and a bit of a splash around in the pool there. What I've decided to do is head down to the coastal path just near to the villa here and take a shot of Fort Ventura as the sun goes down. It tends to catch some nice evening light as the sun fades here in the evening, so that's what I'm going to do. So it's the morning of day two and I just got done photographing this scene here on the east side of the park. This is still the first roll of Kodak Ektar. I just took the one frame just to finish the roll off. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. It was a 20 second exposure at f22. Although I just realized that my aperture ring is set to f32 so we'll see how that goes. So as you can probably tell, it's pretty cloudy up here, uh, pretty windy. Uh, I've set my camera up right here on the edge of the cliffs and my idea was to photograph the light of the setting sun. So I've took a couple of safety shots anyway on Kodak Ektar 100 and you could kind of see through the viewfinder there was a bit of the cliff visible and sort of shrouded in clouds. So you never know, fingers crossed if the exposures turned out right then they could be quite sort of interesting, a little bit abstract. But yeah, could just do with a little bit less cloud. So it's the morning of day three and I just got done photographing the scene of the hills behind me over here on the south side of the island, just east of Playa Blanca and a little bit west of Arecife. There's a trail that comes up from a small town just down the hill here and I hiked up in the uh, pre-dawn gloom and uh, the morning light kind of swept in and illuminated all these hills kind of as I was hoping it would. So I'm currently here at this beach near the town of Famara. I'm just below the cliffs, cliffs you can see in the background there. That's where I was last night when the clouds decided to roll in and completely smother the views from up there. Looks relatively cloud-free tonight, so 
Now, maybe I should have gone back up there to try and take that photo again, but uh, I decided to come down here. But when I came down here, I, I, I couldn't resist the view of the hills with the, the haze kind of being cast over it from the west as the sun starts to set. So it's the morning of day four and I've come down to the beach. I've made a few exposures on Portra 160. So I'm back on the cliffs that I was at a couple of nights ago and this time there's no cloud. There's quite a grand view uh, of the ridge of cliffs going off into the distant haze and I've just made a couple of exposures on Portra 160. Uh, I'm on frame 8 of 10 on this particular roll so I, what I'll do now is basically wait and take a few more exposures of this scene as the light changes. I don't know what the deal is with this place, but there doesn't seem to be any tourists here. The only people that I've seen up here seem to be locals, and there's a bit of a picnic spot, I guess you'd call it, up at the top of the cliff there, uh, with a nice playground. Also with a, what looks to be at least a couple of thousand foot drop. Um, so that's interesting. So I just got finished here and basically at the last moment I hurried through the final few frames of Kodak Portra on that roll and as you can probably tell the light's actually getting pretty good now as well so I might have prematurely in a mad dash to get the best of the last light actually wasted the last couple of frames because this is actually now looking very inviting and warm so I'm thinking I might just come back here tomorrow. A really great location, there's nothing quite like it. So, yeah, quite pleased with what's gone on here and I'll be back tomorrow. So it's the morning of day five and I just got done photographing the scene out here on the south side of the island, looking west, nearby to the location I was at a couple of days ago on the top of the hills there. Yeah, there's some nice light that's come over the uh, horizon there. There were some clouds blocking it initially, so there was a bit, it was a bit of a slow start to the sunrise, but once the light came in, the scene lit up nicely. I did make a couple of pre-dawn exposures, longer exposures, so we'll have to see how those turn out. I'm shooting on Kodak Ektar again, finished the roll of Portra last night up on the cliffs on the north side of the island there. I think my plan for the evening is going to basically stay the same. I'm going to head up to the north side of the island, to the, back to the cliffs there. I might go back up onto the top of the cliffs or I might go back to the beach area and try and get that shot that I was talking about a couple of nights ago with the, uh, the sun shining towards the cliffs uh, viewed from the beach, but I'll have to see how the day turns out. So rather than heading out to the cliffs, uh, I've come to the beach, obviously, because the cliffs are there and I'm here. As I was driving over towards the cliffs on this side of the island, I noticed that it got quite cloudy. So I decided rather than going up there and being surrounded by cloud, I'd come down here and see if I could make something of the gathering storm. So I set up a composition here, just looking across the crashing waves. So in theory, I potentially just captured the cliffs at peak redness. 
they caught quite a bit of colour as the sun was dipping down. So fingers crossed that'll turn out all right and that'll be a good use of my last frame of nectar on this trip. The colour's gone now, so timing was everything and the timing was right. And uh, I, I kind of tried to uh, also time the uh, shutter for sort of peak foamy wave action. Don't really know what else you'd describe it as. So it's the morning of day six, uh, the final day of my trip here in Lanzarote. So I came back out here to the east side of the National Park, just a photograph of a scene I'm quite familiar with, of the cones rising up out of the lichen-covered landscape here. Uh, actually, when I arrived, it was raining. Uh, there was a big rainstorm that swept right through here, and that, that horrible kind of fine rain that just kind of gets everywhere. So yeah, I've got a couple of frames left of Kodak Portra and what I'm thinking I'm going to do is there's some palm trees near to where I'm staying so I'm thinking I might uh, do kind of a palm tree silhouette as the uh, evening light comes in and then that'll be me done for this trip. In terms of the trip, in terms of shooting film on the Mamiya RB67, quite eager to see how the results are and uh, hopefully there's some, uh, there's some keepers in there.